Hello YouTube and hello everybody else that's watching. This is Maddo here. I just thought I'd show you something that I found on the side of the road. It's amazing what people actually um, dump. Go into the garage. That's if. Oh, that was right. Hang on a minute. Somebody stuck something behind that door, naming my father. <laughs> so we'll have to go through the, side, the other front entrance. Yeah. So as you can probably see, there's something over there flashing. We'll go and have a look at what it's doing. The amazing people, things people actually thrash on the side of the road, is this. It's a Sony. It's a Sony 3 disc changer which plays MP3s and everything else complete with the subwoofer. As we can see. And of course, your left and right speakers which I've covered up with some glue. Over there. Now you might be thinking, hang on, something from the side of the road like this won't work. But it surely does. The only thing is, what was wrong with it was pretty simple. All it had was that somebody opened the disc player, which is over here, and seeing that CD right there, instead of putting it right there, they jammed it up here. So all I needed to do was undo the screws on the side, pull that CD out from underneath, go like that, push it back in, and she works perfectly. I first moved into this place a few months ago, and as you can see, I'm rebuilding a trailer and actually my father's doing the bulk of the work here. I have some LED lights coming for it but it's actually going to be an old wooden box trailer so uh, not many of them going around still you don't see many of them on the road in Victoria but we're going to go CD just to show you that it does work I think and if we just go play yep there we go Go to a better song. You can see the top of the words. Turn it off. Don't really need it. I think without a sub, it's loud enough. I'm going to turn that off anyway. And somebody's left all my switches on. Somebody was working in here today and didn't turn my switches off. Now this is my box trailer, it's uh, been built slowly back up from the ground that uh, someone gave this to me pretty much as a, as a gift, it was his father's. Uh, the old wooden panels are all rotten and falling apart so we've decided to put all new wooden panels in. At the moment all the panels are being cut into place and set into place so that we can drill holes to fit the mud guards which we will then one day get painted and re-sprayed and I'm even thinking about getting them powder coated but I'm not sure yet uh, anyway uh, after it's all set in place and everything's drilled correctly we will get the um, boards back off and we'll get them varnished so this is going to look absolutely fantastic when it's finished um, I've had to put a new um, jack stand on it or what you would call a jockey wheel and uh, we had to get a couple of second hand tyres that were in good condition and it's coming together, it's coming, it's taken a few weeks 
but we're getting there. I'll show you the LED lights because you'd be surprised at uh, how cheap they actually are. I'm going to have to lock my door up. See my ugly backyard with no garden? That's just me. person who could care less about garden actually, nah. It's got a garden, you just can't see it. There's a garden in the other parts of the house, I just haven't gotten around to doing the back one yet. Always check your doors that they're locked. I forgot to do that once and it was still not locked. Anyway, come inside. Okay. Inside here, we've got our brand new LED lights, which I'll turn on the light to show you. Here we go, inside the bag. On eBay, if you go on, you can get these LED lights, as you can see. Brakes, tail, an indicator, and a reflector in the middle for $25 a pair. Absolutely fantastic instead of using the old globes. Uh, according to the manual and according to the books that I've seen, as you can probably see right here, if you can read this on the camera, probably not. But the, uh, the maximum wattage on there is 0.9 of a watt. 0.972 watts. No more problems with bad earths and things like that because you basically don't need much of an earth to run these. Here's a second one. They come with all the bolts and fittings like that. And here's a metal plug which is very hard to find at Super Cheap. So yeah, everything is now available on eBay. Um, in the shops you'd be spending about $70 to $80 for two lights. So I recommend get on the eBay and type in LED trailer lights and you'll find these. Anyway, that's all from me today. Have a good one. See ya.